Good morning, you guys. It is about six o'clock in the morning. I just dropped Kelly off at the airport. She is going to New York for work for the week, so I am all by myself. Oh. So while Kelly is out of town, one of the things that I really want to focus on this week is food. I can get myself to the gym. I can get back into my workout routine. But one of the things that I have been struggling with so, so much lately is food. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of taking a little bit old school with my food and I'm also going back to my fitness pal this week. So I will be tracking. Um, I'm starting out with the recommended calories that my fitness pal is recommending, which I believe is 1370, somewhere around there. I'm gonna see how I feel with that. I'm gonna see, is it? do I feel like I need a little bit more? Is that good? Am I satisfied during the day? So I'm really gonna kind of like play with the numbers this week. I wanted to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast and lunch, mainly because I can't record at work because there's just too many people coming in and out of my office. Uh, so for breakfast, one of the things that I do is I allow myself two cups of coffee a day. I don't have a reasoning behind that other than I just don't wanna be drinking coffee all day long. And I put creamer in my coffee, so that's just added calories. So I allow myself two cups of coffee a day. I'm actually having one right now, and then I'll have another one at work. Also, have a V8 in the morning, so that way I can get uh, my vegetables in, um, which is good. These are only at like 30 calories, so it doesn't add a whole lot of calories. You do have to pay attention to the salt content, though, because they can tend to um, add additional sodium to your diet for the main portion of my breakfast i tend to have a shake one of the things that i've learned about having a shake is that it just keeps me satisfied until lunch i can like i don't chug it all at once i just kind of sip on it throughout the morning and that way it like keeps me going until lunchtime i use this organ um organic plant protein the uh, chocolate fudge flavor it's really really tasty I like it, it mixes really well. And then what I put in that is some of this um, super greens, which is really good. I use the chocolate flavor as well. It does taste a little bit grassy, a little bit green, um, but other other than that, it's, it's pretty good. And to kind of mask that grassy flavor, I just add a little bit of PB2 peanut butter to it. And that is all I put in it, nothing more, nothing less. Just put some ice and cold water, and it's good. running quite a bit late this morning um <clears throat> but i'm very very happy with that weigh-in i do feel that a lot of the water weight is now gone so that is probably a true representation of what i weigh right now so i am very very happy with that um I, it's only like three pounds i think away from my absolute lowest weigh-in that i've had so happy with it um it feels like a good like restarting point and uh, yeah, so breakfast this morning is going to be the exact same as yesterday. The shake with V8, two cups of coffee, and then um, I'll show you guys lunch a little bit later, but I gotta get to work. Taking a little bit of a break from work to run some errands, but I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about lunch. Uh, what I had yesterday is the same thing that I'm having today for lunch, um, is half a cup of white rice and a cup and a half of cauliflower rice. The cauliflower rice is very low in calories, but adds a lot more volume. <clears throat> so I'm able to like mix that and it tastes really good. And then I'm also having a cup and a half of steamed broccoli, as well as I believe four ounces of flank steak. So that is my lunch. I top it off with sriracha. It's very filling. It tastes really, really good. Um, and that pretty much um, holds me over until my snacks. Uh, yesterday I had um, coconut meat and a pecan pie Lara bar. Those two are was pretty much like the majority of my fats. Fat is something that I have a really hard time getting in and coconut meat has a lot of fat in it. So that is kind of what I tend to eat um, recent, more recently to get my fats in because I don't know why, but I have a really hard time getting my fats in. And then today for my snacks, I have um, orange, like orange slices, and coconut meat and strawberries and that's going to be my snack for today just got home from work and i have to say that today was like one of those days where i was really really hungry so it was a very mental day for me to try to like make it through uh so i heated up dinner like as soon as i got home and what i'm having is four ounces of 
lemon pepper chicken with four ounces of flank steak and um then i'm also having some sweet potatoes so that is going to be my dinner fun fact about sweet potatoes and you guys have to try this and if you do let me know if you put mustard on sweet potatoes they taste like corn dogs so this is how you know you are way too tired i was getting my water ready for tomorrow and I'm um, getting ready for bed. I was looking for my phone and I couldn't find it, but then I remembered. I left it in the fridge. I need to go to bed. I finally get home from work, only to realize that I completely left the front door unlocked. So last night I left my phone in the fridge. Today I'm leaving the house unlocked. It's only Wednesday and this week is kicking my butt. I am so mentally tired. Also today was such a busy day that I did not eat lunch until like three o'clock. So I did not eat my snack. Um, so I only have about 700 calories in me so far. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I'm gonna figure that out in just a minute. Um, also I weighed in at 221.6, which is a 0.2 pound difference from yesterday so up 0.2 um, I'm not really worried about it your weight fluctuates daily so um, so yeah I'm not really that worried about it but I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner and then I'll show you guys before I show you guys my food I just have to show you something I have never hit my macros dead on ever I'm not necessarily calculating macros, but I am keeping an eye on them um, just to kind of make sure that everything's balanced out simply because I tend to be very high carb even though I'm within my calories. So I'm just trying to pay attention to that um, in case you're curious right now. And this is kind of going by kind of going by my fitness pal, but kind of like changing it a little bit. 141 carbs, 34 fat, 94 protein. So that's what I'm starting out with. Um, I'll probably do this for two weeks, see how my body is, see how I feel on it, and then make adjustments from there. Um, so it's 45, 25, 30. So 45 carb, 25 fat, 30 protein. But yeah, never in my life have I hit it dead on. Um, I still have 111 calories um, that I can eat for today, but I will see how I feel after um, after the meal but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna have because if I heat it up I'm afraid I'll eat it and then you won't see it uh, so I'm having this is the last piece of chicken I have for the week which is like two and an eighth ounce I've got half a cup of white rice the rest of the cauliflower rice which is I think half a cup and then the rest of the broccoli that I have. I also did not have my shake this morning. I ended up having a protein bar. So I'm gonna have my shake with dinner. And then to round off my fats, because of course I can't get fats, I'm gonna have um, just a tablespoon of Jif peanut butter. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm gonna eat this up because I am extremely hungry. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Finished up dinner and I have to say after the shake, I was so, so full. That was a lot for me um, to eat. It wasn't like a lot calorie wise, but just the volume of everything and then the shake. Um, yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> so I was very, very full. I ended up not eating the peanut butter simply because I was full and um, I opted for hot tea instead. Now while the tea doesn't have um, any calories or macros or anything, I do put honey in it, so that's pretty much all carbs and sugar. So um, it did knock me out of the perfect uh, macro wheel. I could eat, still eat the peanut butter and be within my calories and kind of like bring my macros closer to what they should be. But to be perfectly honest, I am not hungry. I am not gonna force it. It is not that serious in my opinion. Um, so I am under my calories by like close to 150, which is fine because you know, some days you're gonna be under, some days you're gonna be over, and as long as your average for the week balances out, then you're good. So keep that in mind, like don't stress over it too, too much. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I have no idea how long it is, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited to, to keep this series going, simply, you know, just to, to hit my goal. And I'm excited that weight is starting to come off and that I'm starting to really see um, starting to really see a difference so back on track 
back to counting, back to basics kind of thing. And I will check in with you guys next week.